Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm GB and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. Today, I thought it'd be fun to put together this beautiful puzzle from the brand Magnolia Puzzles. This one is called The Queen's Gambit and it's by the artist Romy Lerda. I'm not sure if I pronounced it quite right, I'm sorry. And um, if you've seen the Netflix show by the same name, you'll probably recognize that this is a depiction of the main character. Um, there's also, you know, references to like chess and upside down chess pieces and also little green and white peels. So yeah, if you've seen it, you'll probably understand all those references. Um, and yeah, if you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend it. It's a really interesting, entertaining show. Um, and so I should probably mention that Magnolia Puzzles is actually a Turkish brand. And uh, from what I hear, they make some really good quality puzzles. So I'm like really excited to see for myself and try this one out and yeah, see if it sort of lives up to the hype and, and what it's all about. And they also have a really great range of puzzle designs. Like they have quite a few by the same artist that depict like different female characters and uh, her work's got kind of like very recognizable because they all have these really big eyes and tiny mouth. And yeah, it's a very interesting, unique style. And they also, um, Magnolia also produces like a whole range of other really fun and interesting designs. So yeah, definitely check them out. Um, this is actually gonna be my first time doing one of their puzzles as well. Although by the time you've seen this video, I will have actually uh, done another one of their puzzles by the same artist over on my Instagram account. So definitely go check that out if you're interested. Um, but otherwise, I think we'll do what we usually do where we'll look at the packaging and unbox it, of course, take a look at the pieces. And then of course, I'll get into puzzling and let you know my thoughts. So let's take a look at the packaging first. So the first thing I notice is like the box is pretty strong and sturdy and it's kind of like a very traditional shaped, I guess, puzzle box, you know, a rectangle, but it's actually quite thin. Um, so it's sort of like a bit tall and thin, but I don't mind it. Like I think, um, you know, it's makes storing them a lot easier. You can probably like stack a lot cause they're quite strong or, you know, they can probably still fit pretty nicely into a bookshelf. So yeah, I kind of like that, but yeah, pretty sturdy. And also the sort of surface is like very smooth. I think it's sort of what you call like a UV coating, like um, some modern novels have that sort of very smooth feel on their, their book covers and stuff. So it sort of reminds me of that. Um, but yeah, like, and it's also very, uh, not very glary on, on this. So I don't know if that's an indication of the pieces, maybe we'll see. Um, anyway, so the front has, I believe what is the entire, uh, image and also has the brand name Magnolia puzzles. And it says 1000 pieces. It also has their little sort of, I guess, tagline or slogan, which is life is a puzzle. Um, it also has by like by Romy Lerda, the artist there. And also over here, which I thought was quite interesting. It says difficulty level and it has four out of five stars selected. So I noticed it on their other puzzles too. So I, I think that's kind of cool. I, I like that it has that. So it gives you an idea of what to expect. So yeah, definitely good for all sorts of puzzles out there to have that sort of little star rating. Um, and then let's see this long side here. We've got the, um, I guess logo or their name here. We've got, it's got a number, but I'm guessing that's sort of like their puzzle number. And it's got the Queen's Gambit, the artist, and then it has the size in centimeters. Um, so this is 68 by 48 centimeters. I'll pop the equivalent in inches. Then it has a tiny image of the puzzle. 1000 pieces and a barcode. The bottom has, I think, very similar information logo. It's also got sort of a larger little image here of like a section of the puzzle and then followed by like a small version of the whole image. And then again, information about the puzzle, including the size and then 1000 pieces. And then all that same information is actually on this long side. So repeated. And yeah, then this is just again, logo 1000 pieces and the tiny version of the whole image. And then on the back, okay, so we've got it this way, we've got Magnolia puzzles, we've got their web address, we've got their sort of little socials up here. Um, and then I guess we've got here some like examples of some of the other puzzles they have. I mean, they have a lot more than this, but I guess it's just a little taste of 
some of the other ones. And then it's got a few different languages down here. So, well, actually, I guess it's English and then Turkish. Um, so basically, it has a little bit of information about uh, the real size. The box and the cardboard material used in the puzzle are recyclable. Um, it consists of uninterrupted whole parts that exactly fit each other. I'm not really sure what real size has to do with that. And then it talks about missing parts support, cautions, and then oh, difficulty level. Every puzzle is classified from one to five stars according to how hard and complicated it is. One star is easiest, five is the hardest. I mean, I don't know who decides that. I guess it's still kind of variable based on whoever it is deciding how difficult or hard a puzzle is. And then it has a, presumably the same information in Turkish. And then, um, it's actually got a thing over here. It says how to glue your puzzle, both in English and Turkish. And it refers to adhesive powder. So I guess there must be some powder inside the box that you can use that you mix with water. And yeah, it's got instructions on how to do that. And then it just has kind of their address and other little, like it says made in Turkey and the cycle symbol and all that. Um, yeah, so yeah, fair bit of useful information, I guess. So let's open it up. All right, okay, so yep, just white cardboard on the inside, nothing nothing unusual. And the sides of the inside of the box are just the blank um, sort of maroon color, which I think must be their color because that seems to be what's on all the puzzles of theirs that I have or that I've seen. And okay, and then so a couple things in this box. We've got our bag of puzzle pieces. This bag doesn't look like it's sort of resealable. Um, you, you might be able to recycle it in like soft plastics or something like that. So we'll cut that open in a sec. But the other little thing you get, a, I guess it must be the sort of glue adhesive powder. So that comes in a little sachet like that. I'm not planning on using this. Um, I never actually glue any of my puzzles because I, I like to redo them or lend them to friends or sell them or <laughs> things like that. So. But you know, it's nice that they include it if you do want to glue it together, especially something like this, where you could make actually a nice sort of portrait artwork that you could have on your wall. So yeah, but yeah, always nice that they include it as an option. So, and then yeah, the inside of the box is again, just white, blank cardboard. So I guess let's cut open the bag and have a look at the pieces. So I noticed a couple of things first off, uh, one, that the pieces seem to have the same sort of coating or texture as like the box. So that's sort of what I suspected. Um, and, but I'll get into that more in a minute. And then, yeah, the piece shapes seem like, a, it's like seems like a very normal size um, and the cuts seem like a very sort of regular, uh, normal standard cut. So it's still got a variety of piece shapes. So you've got like three tabs, two tabs, uh, what else do we have? One tab, like a zero tabs, like where they're just inverted. Um, yeah, so it seems to sort of have, I think like all of those different types of piece shapes. I'll pop an image with a close up anyway. Um, it's probably like a, another two tab or a, a, a four tab here somewhere, but we won't, oh, there's a four tab, but yeah. So yeah, it definitely has, um, a variety of piece shapes and you know when I'm looking at other uh, pieces that have the same amount of tabs like the cut is definitely a little bit different like between them so hopefully that means like there's quite a lot of variety amongst the piece shapes that we won't have too many false fits so yeah um, the other thing I noticed is there's definitely some puzzle dust because this little piece here's got a bit of dust stuck to the top of it um, and I guess like the bag has a bit of yeah it definitely has a bit of dust stuck in there Let's see, I can definitely see dust at the bottom. So we'll have to just sort of play it by ear and see how bothersome, if at all, the puzzle dust is going to be during the puzzling process. But yeah, there definitely is puzzle dust there. Um, and then, yeah, I guess let's have a quick look at one of the individual pieces. So I guess I'll grab this little one. Um, so the back is a lovely bluey gray board. There's no extra paper. So it's just, yeah, that plain cardboard. Um, and then the thickness is a fairly kind of nice medium thickness and the layers are just yeah, cardboard. Um, and yeah. And then when I like 
try to bend it gently seems very uh, strong and sturdy like it I don't think it's gonna bend easily we'll have to see if we end up with any uh, bent tabs or anything but so far so good and then the top is yeah just like the box it has that very it's very smooth I guess UV coating I think is what they call it but I guess that's a bit more of a technical term but you can even like you, you can tap it like it's quite hard it doesn't it's not soft but it's very smooth and the other thing I notice is there's a little bit of sheen but for the most part it's quite a matte finish so yeah like that's yeah it's not glossy um, but we'll have to see if the sort of light shining on it is going to pose a problem or not but for the most part it's fairly matte so yeah it definitely feels very nice and the pieces feel very yeah very strong and yeah feel really good um yeah I guess I don't know if there's much else to say about the pieces at this point I'm excited to try them out and see you know what the experience is like as a whole um so I guess let's have a quick talk about my strategy or approach um it's quite a dark part like the background is quite dark so I feel like it makes more sense to start with the lighter bits so maybe like I feel like her skin tone sort of really stands out um, and it, even the way the puzzle is sort of like the image is drawn it is sort of made to make her stand out so I'll probably try and like find her arms and face and features and maybe her hair and even try and put that together and maybe even some of these chest pieces and chest board I feel like they stand out and her collar and stuff um, I feel like the background is probably going to get left to last just because it is the darkest and I think it's probably going to be the trickiest. Um, so that's sort of, yeah, I think what I'm going to do. Um, I don't know if I'm actually going to do the border first. I'll sort of have to see how I feel. Maybe I'll just do part of the border like down here to sort of get that chest board going because I feel like up here it might be a bit too tricky. Um, we'll see how I go. Might change my mind. Um, so yeah, I think we might as well get into some puzzling and then I'll stop about you know part way through and just give you an update on my thoughts
I've really been enjoying putting this puzzle together. So far, the image is looking really nice. I, it's just gorgeous artwork and it's just really such a unique and interesting style and I love seeing it sort of come together and I love how these chess pieces are looking. Yeah, I just think it looks really cool. And I've really been enjoying the pieces and the overall like puzzling experience. It's been really positive. So uh, all up so far to get to this point, which I think is probably a little bit under halfway, but it's sort of, you know, the majority of the, I guess it's the easy parts of the image um, or the easiest parts to pick out. It's taken me three hours and 15 minutes, I think it was, to get to this point. So it has actually been a fairly difficult puzzle. Um, you know, it was a bit slow going, trying to like get her face and arms together and then even like the chessboard and everything. It was definitely, definitely tricky. Um, so I would say so far that four star rating is pretty accurate. Um, but yeah, it's still obviously doable. Like, you know, I got to this point, so I'm a little worried about the background and everything. Um, but yeah, I think like I made reasonable progress on it. So I am expecting the rest of this to take quite a while. Like I'll probably do this pile of pieces here next with just her hair. Um, so hopefully that won't take too long because it does have like all these lines. So, you know, that should help you figure out which direction pieces are going in. But we do have a box left here of very like dark pieces. But that being said, out of all the dark pieces, you know, I should still hopefully, hopefully be able to pick out like the brighter reds in it and you know, and then maybe even some more of the sort of solid blacks that are like the chessboard and her dress and like these shadows and even these little pills. So yeah, like we'll, we'll just have to see how that goes. Um, so yeah, let's talk quality. So yeah, I've been really impressed. Um, I know a lot of people have been raving about Magnolia puzzles and I just, for whatever reason, just haven't tried them until now, but yeah, I'm really glad to be trying them out because yeah I kind of feel like I should have tried them earlier because I've just really been having a great time so yeah so far the piece fit is really nice um, everything fits together really well it's sort of a very comfortable fit um, I think I only ever had like one false fit but it got sorted out pretty quick um, but yeah no real like um, pieces not fitting properly or anything like that everything fits nicely together um, I'm not sure how easy it is to undo pieces. Oh, okay. I guess pretty easy, like for the most part. So yeah. And the pieces have been holding together very well for like picking up sections. So like, you know, I think that's really awesome because I can, yeah, it means I can obviously work on stuff in front of me and then, you know, just pick it up and move it later. Um, and that was like very handy with the chessboard, moving things from different sides as I worked out where bits went. So yeah, very happy with that. So I think you could definitely do a puzzle pickup with this. And yeah, as for the piece surface, I really liked it. I don't really recall having any glare or sheen issues. It does seem to be fairly matte, um, even though it's quite smooth. So it might still depend on your lighting, but even when I'm looking at it here with like my ring light and everything, I'm not really seeing any sheen or glare spots. So yeah, I'm pretty, really happy with that actually. So yeah, I think, um, I don't know, I feel like these days sheen and glare has been definitely one of my pet puzzle peeves for sure, like possibly even more so than puzzle dust. Um, I think just because it impacts your puzzling experience so much, um, you know, and it can really like make a puzzle more difficult or more easy going. So yeah, really happy with that. And then yeah, speaking of puzzle dust, um, there is puzzle dust, but, and there's a few little specks and possibly if I lift up, sections or like there might be yeah there's a bit more underneath there but really it hasn't been a problem um of course you know my hands are a little bit dusty after puzzling and things like that but yeah it really hasn't caused me to sneeze or you know anything like that um but there is definitely dust in there so i imagine like once i finish the puzzle there'll probably be quite a lot left in the box um, but i guess you know if you have a real problem with puzzle dust you may already or you might like to try some people sift their puzzle pieces first. So I still have yet to do this. I really need to try it. Um, yeah, and then I think that's pretty much it with, in terms of the piece quality. Um, yeah, I guess if I think of anything else, I'll add it to final comments. But yeah, I, yeah, overall I'm 
very happy. Um, oh, I guess in terms of like any damage, I've been pretty lucky. I haven't really had any damaged pieces. A couple tiny little, I think there was like one piece that had a tiny weeny bend to one little bit, but really like barely noticeable. Um, yeah, this, I don't know if the manufacturing process is just really good or if the pieces are just really sturdy and strong. Um, but yeah, I haven't really come across any bent tabs or things like that. Like it's been really good. So yeah, definitely loving putting this puzzle together. I am a little apprehensive about how this, the rest of it's gonna go with the background. So I do think it's gonna take quite a few hours, like probably longer than it took me to do this part. So we'll just have to see how it goes. And I guess wish me luck. Um, so I guess I might as well stop chatting and get back into finishing this puzzle. I really love how the image has turned out. I just think it looks super cool and really dramatic and just, yeah, really intriguing. Um, I think like the artist has just done such a cool job with like, you know, the giant like eyes and like weird exaggerated features. And I love the sort of like uh, chess pieces. They look really 3D. Yeah, I really like this image as a whole. Kind of really makes me want to watch the series again. 
maybe I will. Um, but it was definitely a tricky image as well. Um, so this second session, like I predicted, did take a bit longer than the first session. So it took four hours and 15 minutes and all up um, from start to finish, including sorting, took seven and a half hours, which I think is pretty reasonable. Um, yeah, so I definitely found putting this image together definitely more on the tricky side. I think the four star rating is pretty accurate. Like it's definitely not a super beginner level puzzle. Not to say you couldn't do it if you're starting out puzzling, but I guess just to be aware that it is going to be a more tricky, difficult puzzle and maybe more slow going in some areas. Um, yeah, I definitely had to like sort of in these very darker muted colored areas, I definitely had to sort by shape rather than color um, or detail just because yeah, there's so many just looked really similar. Um, but yeah, I still got there in the end and um, didn't take as long as I was afraid it would. So that's good. And yeah, in terms of like my puzzling experience, like overall, I had a really fantastic experience. I'm like very impressed with this puzzle and the brand as a whole, I think. Um, so I pretty much agree with all the things I said earlier about quality. So I really like the piece fit, I think. Um, like the piece cut and the variation in shapes is really good. I didn't really have any false fits. I think like one, I think in the first session, but I didn't really have any more after that. Um, and the fit is very comfortable. It's not too loose or tight. So you can definitely like pick up large sections. So that was super useful. And you know, you could probably do a puzzle pickup, but I guess if you, you can like pretty easily as well, take the puzzle apart, which is great for when you want to pack it away or or whatever so that's great and I really like like as I'm smoothing this out I'm rem reminded that I really love the feel of these pieces like they're just so smooth um, they just have yeah just a really nice feel to them just very smooth and they feel like they should be shiny but they're not so they're really matte actually and even with the ring light shining on it there's pretty much no glare or sheen, I can still see all of the image very clearly. Um, and I found that really useful, particularly in this puzzle with this sort of dark background and, you know, very subtle shade differences. The, like being able to see the pieces really clearly was super useful. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know what this sort of piece magic is that they've managed to create such sort of smooth, almost shiny feeling, but then completely matte pieces. It's like, it's really cool. Um, yeah, so I'm really impressed with that. And then I guess the only like con really, but even that wasn't really a problem is there is puzzle dust, like definitely there is puzzle dust on the board and there was um, probably, yeah, when I lift this up, yes, puzzle dust and there's puzzle dust in the box. So um, yeah, I'd say that's really the only con that I had. Um, but yeah, it, it didn't bother me. Um, like, I mean, apart from just making the board a bit messy and my hands a bit dusty, I didn't sneeze or anything like that. So I don't know, maybe uh, what it, whatever it is about this dust, it's, it's not like Ravensburger. It doesn't make me sneeze, so that's good. Um, but you know, just so you know, like if you are very sensitive to puzzle dust or you just hate puzzle dust, it, it does have puzzle dust. Um, and then, yeah, like, I was very lucky there wasn't really any damaged pieces. I think a couple of pieces might have had a little bit of a tiny bent bit on it or something, but it was so, so minimal. Like, like even running my hand across, I can't really feel any like issues at all and I can't really see any. So yeah, really happy with uh, the quality. So, I mean, I don't know if I just got lucky or if all their puzzles are very, like have a really low damage rate or what. Um, but either way, I'm yeah really impressed. Um, so I guess let's talk price now that we've sort of talked about everything else. Um, so I purchased this one in Australia from the Mind Connect Australia website, which I'll link down below. And on there it was $34.95. It was on sale. Um, I think the full price was $39.95. This is in Australian dollars, but I will put I don't know how much these sort of retail for in the US or North America, but I will put, I guess, an approximate conversion on the screen for those prices. Um, 
But yeah, to me, that's a pretty reasonable price. Like that's very comparable to what I would pay for a Cloudberry's puzzle or a Gibson's puzzle. Both of those tend to in Australia and like online for us retail about that sort of 35 to 40 dollar mark sometimes if you're lucky they can be like 30 dollars but that's like when they're on sale or something um yeah so i think for that price which to me is sort of a affordable to mid range kind of price this is a really uh awesome puzzle like it's just the quality and is just fantastic and i think even if it was priced higher than that i think i would still go out and buy it i just have been very impressed overall with just everything about the quality and also of course the beautiful artwork and they just have so many like interesting puzzles like they have quite a few by this artist but also just a whole range of really different images of like you know that would suit all sorts of puzzlers i guess um yeah so i would definitely recommend both this puzzle and the magnolia puzzles brand i just am just really impressed so yeah happy that i can say that um so i guess let me know in the comments below what did you think of this puzzle have you um done this one before or have you tried any of the magnolia puzzles and do you think you would like does it seem like your kind of thing and have you watched the tv series on netflix as well if you enjoyed this video then make sure you show that like button some love and for more videos like this and for even more puzzle content then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications by subscribing not only will you be the first to know when a new video is released but you're also helping this channel grow you can also find me over on instagram at jigsaw underscore where you'll find even more puzzle content thanks so much and see you next time bye